what do we really know about enlightenment and inner peace is that they will be mostly unattainable by the average living human with his living experience today. I think that most of us will never get to experience the sweet release of um, accepting, you, accepting yourself, letting go of these frustrations. We, we can only look at the <laughs> skinny people uh, lecturing us from their pedestal and sitting in the middle of some forsaken desert and most of the time they are usually attractive people and they are talking about inner peace and self-acceptance and other, other worldly lore that I wouldn't even begin to comprehend because I am always a slave to my own addictions and um, cupboard doors that keep getting broken down. Let's see if I can take this, fix this back. So yeah, uh, most of the time I'm just hoping for a release. Some people might think that it is awful of me to think that I might need some uh, hospital care, like mental hospital, because I am stuck in my loops all the time and <coughs> my addictions. So, so, basically I'm just hoping that they would close me in a mental ward and medicate me up so that I wouldn't have to repeat these groundhog days all the time. Let's see, I got it fixed. The <laughs> cupboard door is now back. So I feel that it is like a shame to even wake up. It feels like we got the, this language in Finland and we call it a vit. The self-realization that you are still alive when you wake up first thing in the morning. Um, did you drink alcohol or no? That doesn't affect, affect the realization that you are still alive and you have to repeat the same process all over again. Because I've got alcohol here. This is Kosken Korva. And I don't... I, I was planning to drink during this lecture. But then I thought it would diminish the message. But then, why would it diminish? Wouldn't it rather <laughs> underline the message? Uh, I've seen my YouTube front page and I can all, of course, thank the algorithm for bringing me all those skinny and attractive people who are looking to release from their mundane day-to-day -day lives. And they still talk about these realizations. But I can I think that these realizations only take you so far. They might help you get through the day, yes, but you will still struggle with computers, smartphones, <laughs> living in a <laughs> uh, mind numbing excess. And that is why I don't really believe in enlightenment. Of course, I've thought about dumping my computer, throwing it out the door. Actually, when you think about it, I think that I might even benefit from having a broken down computer or a smartphone. I'm not actually blaming anyone. It's just that my mind is so tired from combating these mental issues. I'm now 43 years old and I'm still grateful for the relative health I have. I am an obese man, but I can still jump around <laughs> and walk around my house and <clears throat> think about all the things that I could do if I had the will to live, so to speak.
but none of that matters now. I can only repeat the process of eating chocolate and chasing dopamine highs in front of this work. <laughs> work. What, what do you call it? The workshop? I don't know. This is my life here. That's it. And, uh, and, and I think it's fine and weird at the same time. I can almost feel like during the evenings <clears throat> I um, get a sense of decisiveness that I'm gonna fix my life tomorrow but then when I wake up I'll be so tired and so filled with despair that I won't be able to skip my morning chocolate or my morning coffee or my morning computer or my morning smartphones I will be stuck in this loop for all eternity and <laughs> I just I, I just don't know maybe there are a lot of people who have broken the cycle and they still struggle with self-doubt it's a problematic affair to be alive in this day and age I think that a sense of community would help if we were setting up <laughs> I was gonna say fences, I'm not sure why but when you are setting up fences you can um, put some animals <laughs> at the cattle ranch, I'm not sure but you should be free when you free your mind but I've never been able to really learn anything about this life except that it, it is in fact suffering and the mechanisms of my brain cause me to always self-delude delude my intentions that I'll be like yes I'll be fixing my life tomorrow and tell but then when the morning comes I'll be like no I'm not fixing anything today nor tomorrow nor the day after that <laughs> I'll just be here living my exceptional life thank you for watching